Starting with Windows 7, they started to use a, a program or include a program called Steps. It's called Steps Recorder. You'll find it in Windows 7, Windows 8, and of course in Windows 10. And uh, Steps Recorder allows you to reproduce either an issue or a problem. This is quite interesting if you have to do manuals or you have to show people how to do different things. A lot of times we spend a lot of time taking screenshots, cropping those screenshots, and writing down different instructions. So if a person doesn't know how to say book an appointment, right? I can use Steps Recorder to record the steps and show them exactly how to book an appointment. When I hit record, it's now recording all my steps and I really don't need to see this. But if I want, I can add comments to the beginning of the recording. And these would be text comments. It doesn't record audio, it strictly records my screenshots, my movements, and it adds comments itself all along the way. So I minimize this. I'll head to the calendar, and real typical, right, new meeting. And then uh, I can invite some people to the meeting. And then location, right, main boardroom, and uh, we'll do this, uh, let's see, I got time on Friday. I can send all this out, I right, shows them how to do it. Out the door it goes, and it appears in my calendar. When I go back to Steps Recorder, I can hit Stop Recording, and it takes screenshots of everything that I've done. It also details different things I, that um, I'm, I'm doing as well, like clicking on different parts of the screen, clicking on different menus, different buttons, typing things in, all step by step. It saves you a ton of time. As you can see, it highlights the different areas that you click on, the different areas that you work in. And then all the steps um, are all documented here. All stepped out, step one, right to 20. You can clean the whole thing up if you want to. You can open this up in Word and actually edit this thing. 